If you're running retargeting or remarketing ads on Meta and TikTok, you're likely making critical mistakes that are costing you and your business a ton of profit. In this video, you and I are gonna walk through exactly how retargeting ads work from the algorithm's perspective. And then with my near decade worth of advertising experience, I'll share the best use cases for it. Let's go through two examples. For inexpensive products like these, retargeting ads have been largely useless post iOS 14.5 due to the limited audience sizes and reduced tracking capabilities. And if you're unfamiliar with iOS 14.5, it was an update rolled out back in around June 2021. And what it did is it made apps force to ask users if they were allowed to use their data for personalized advertising. It also critically reduced the maximum attribution window on Facebook Facebook from 28 days down to seven. Low ticket products also typically have a low AOV or average order value, meaning they're going to be more of like an impulse purchase rather than a decision that's going to be spread out over a long period of time. But why is retargeting bad in the first place? When you are setting up a retargeting audience in your ad account, you are actually paying more money to potentially restrict qualified users from seeing your ads. And sometimes the cost increases are severe. I've seen firsthand in some of my client ad accounts, CPMs in the retargeting ad set and the retargeting campaign, they're going well above $100. When we set up a remarketing campaign and select a custom audience, we are paying more money to reach the user and increase their daily frequency, meaning the amount of times that they see an ad every day. We do this by forcing a certain daily spend threshold to a very confined audience, meaning there's nobody else for the ads to be shown to other than the same people. Here's where all goes wrong. Not everybody in that bottom of funnel audience is going to be interested in your business or your product. Even if the data says that they added something to cart, initiated a checkout, viewed your ad, doesn't matter. When we force these users that are disinterested in our business to see our ads over and over and over again, it lowers the user experience that they have on Meta and TikTok. The algorithms, they catch on. They start to view our business as a liability to their business objective, which that business objective that Meta and TikTok have, it's to keep users happy and engaged on the platform so they can sell more ad inventory because they know that nobody wants to see the same ad over and over again after they've scrolled past it a bajillion times already. And so in response to us forcing negative user experiences to their customer base, they artificially inflate our costs for the same ads across the entire ad account, not just your remarketing campaign, not just your ad sets or your ads, the entire account, including your top of funnel. This means that running bottom of funnel ads could potentially have a negative impact for your top of funnel campaigns. And for low ticket products, it's just generally better to lean into the machine learning algorithms of Meta and TikTok. All right, so we're an ads manager here and we can see that we have the frequency metric in the middle and then we also have our ads on the left hand side broken down by day and if you don't know how to do that just go over to the breakdowns and click the day one right here and you'll be able to see over whatever time period that you select the exact frequency and so this ad set right here is an image and we can see that the frequency is you know 1.2 1.3 1.4 this would be considered a middle or bottom of funnel ad because the same user is seeing this ad each day on average 1.4 times as opposed to go to our creative testing campaign we can see that frequency is a little bit different this one's a really good example. We have the same time period pulled up compared to the other ad, but frequency 1.06, 1.12, 1.07. This indicates that this particular ad set is hitting a top of funnel cohort and reaching net new users within Meta. And that is how you view top of funnel, middle of funnel, and bottom of funnel frequencies inside ads manager. Let's talk about a completely different example, high ticket. On the other hand, there is another theory that comes into play when we start spending a lot of money to acquire conversions or leads at a very high cost. Let's take a look at something like a legal service for divorce lawyers. Retargeting ads in these situations can be a valuable strategy, but they hinge on two very, very important decisions. Number one, it has to have a unique message and a unique offer. It can't be the same as your top of funnel ads. You shouldn't just be duplicating your top performing ad at broad and then putting it into a remarketing audience. That doesn't work. You're just inflating the costs of your ads across the entire account and you're restricting 
constructing the social proof for the even more amount of money that you're spending on both of the ad sets. And then number two, you have to have sufficient ad spend. If you're only spending 100 or 200 bucks a day, you don't need to be running remarketing. Now, if you're spending 20 or 30,000 bucks a day, okay, well, maybe that starts to make sense again for high ticket only. A very, very small percentage of your budget could be shown to users that maybe have interacted with your business, but ultimately the reason why they haven't purchased isn't necessarily just because the price is really high, but it's also because it requires a specific life event to occur. Again, going back to our example, divorce lawyers, you could see an ad for a divorce lawyer when maybe your relationship isn't in a very good spot and you might not have an immediate need for them, but if you see a remarketing ad over the course of several weeks or several months and eventually your relationship deteriorates to a point where you do need a divorce lawyer, now all of a sudden the company that you've been seeing on your feed and stories all this time, it's the number one company to come to your mind. And so the main purpose isn't to drive additional conversions at a higher conversion rate. Realistically, it's just to remain top of mind within the type of market that you're going after. Now you've learned everything you need to know about retargeting ads with Meta and TikTok. But how do you build ad creatives that convert these users, whether they're top of funnel or bottom of funnel? Check out this video right here where I go through my $150 million creative testing strategy. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.